though Lexington Christian Academy graduated 16 seniors off their 14-1 state runner-up team last year, the Eagles are determined to be the last team standing in December at Kroger Field. For more on LCA, here's their season preview from Glycott. Head coach Doug Charles starts his fourth season at the helm with a 34-5 record. Offensively, the Eagles will miss last season's Kentucky Gatorade Player of the Year, Xavier Brown, but expect a big year out of senior Jay Emerson, who averaged nine yards a carry last year. He will have a big offensive line to run behind with senior Carter Gillespie and junior Garrison McKinney leading the way. At the quarterback position, 6'5 sophomore Cutter Bowley, who had an outstanding summer which resulted in offers from several SEC schools, including the University of Alabama. Some of his key targets will be seniors Evan Brown and Drew Nevis, along with junior Parker Chaney, who had three touchdown receptions. Also expect tight end Will Rich and sophomore Saxton Howard to get some touches. The defensive line will be anchored by seniors Johnny Bruce Drake and Jay Emerson. Drake had five QB sacks and 14 tackles for loss last year. Also, second leading tackler Will Nichols will return for his senior season. And in the secondary, LCA has two of the top defensive backs in the state in senior Evan Brown and junior Parker Chaney. Chaney had six INTs and Brown had four, including a big six. The Eagles have played the toughest schedule in the state the last two years and will attempt to keep the RPI the highest again as the Eagles play defending state 3A champion Belfry, state 1A champion Pikeville, and 6A state semifinalist Madison Central, in addition to district rivals Somerset, Danville, and of course the Holy War with 4A Lexington Catholic. That's the story at LCA. Tomorrow, Joe Cox checks in at Tate's Creek, where the Commodores welcome new head coach Jonathan Hawks. I'm Greg Horn. Thanks for watching.